Okay. Um, this is my first Facebook Live. Um, get some better, better light in here. Um, my room's a little dark. Um, we're on upstairs bedroom, and um, this is my studio, so it's kind of messy right now. But I have a project here that I am going to do. It's a painting a piece of furniture, finally. And um, I'm so excited. This is going to be part of my studio. So I'll show you what it is here. Right Ta-da! hope you can see this. It's a little bookshelf. All brown. Brown wood. It's, um, you know, it's, it's not real heavy or anything. A real lightweight thing. And I am going to paint it today. So, so far, this is what I have. I cleaned it with cray cutter. I found it at Walmart. This stuff is awesome. Um, I tell you what, I got so much dirt off the top of here that um, I couldn't believe how dirty this was. The, the grime that come off of there. So, I do recommend getting some of this and putting it in your um, toolbox or um, under your kitchen cabinets. You know they have because um, I tell you what it does the job. Paper plate and my paints. And um, today I am using um, Junk Monkey paint from um, Sonia Miller's shop up in Ligonier, PA. Um, it is a chalk paint that they make um, here. Um, in my area, this is all handmade. Um, they make it themselves in a warehouse. So, this color here, it's gorgeous, is called um, Mouse in the House. Um, this jar, um, I know that they used to put the paints in the mason jars. Um, they have recently switched to these jars due to um, shipping matters. So, um, in this jar, we have black velvet and it is a true true black and it is gorgeous and I may be using some of this um, glaze um, and it is black it's a black glaze and I'm, I'm with, but um it's just it's a true black glaze also so um we're gonna do that so I'm gonna do a technique Similar to my shelf right here, if you can see it. Um, it is mostly gray. It is distressed just a little bit with the black around the edges. And um, that I did not, um, I did not seal. Um, I'm not going to, it's just, stuff's going to sit up there. It's not going to get much wear and tear. So I just left it matte. Um, the bookcase on my leave um, I'm I might be sealing this um, because it might get more a little more wear and tear but so hopefully you can see this give us a whirl let's see don't mind my mess let's see if we can get to turn around here so we can see okay so I can see what's going on all right there we go um let's see here we need a, something to lift this up on not the best this is is it it's kind of looking up oh my Okay, bear with me. Like I said, this is my first live, and I have not YouTube videos, but I figure what the heck everybody else is. It's been recommended. I need something behind there. I need a McDonald's cup. There we go. Okay. best angle. I think we'll, we'll do. Okay. Ah! Learning new things. Okay. I mean, we're painting, so I think you'll get the general idea. Alright. Can you see? Here we are. Here we go. Alright. 
So I already cleaned this. And I need my brush. And let's see. Let's find them. I'm just using chip brushes. See how well loved that is? This is a two inch chip brush. I got this at Walmart for less than a dollar. You can get a box of them at um, Harbor Freight. And um, Sonia, I'll leave the, uh, for the Junk Monkey Pal, I'll leave the um, link in the comments. Um, she also carries these in her store and online. So um, that's what we're going to do. So first of all, I'm going to shake us up a little bit. It's been, it's going to be fun getting off. Um, we've had it on the shelf for a little bit. It lasts, this stuff, it lasts a good long time. I mean, I heard her say she's had it for, you know, a year or two. And, you know, so I haven't, I've had this since, I don't know, a couple months. So it's still good. So shake it up. Ah, the lid came off. And um, that is what the color looks like inside. Can you see that? Yummy, yummy. Beautiful. If you like gray, I love grays. Um, makes me very happy. Let me open up this black velvet. I do want to start with that. Okay. Now, this is not my own technique. I learned it from watching Sonia. Um, one of her many videos online. Um, she's a very very good teacher. Black is black. Oh, is that gorgeous or what? So, um, I did pick up a lot of tips from her and, um, I hope to pick up a lot more, um, in the near future. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour some of this out in here. Just like that. Did everybody have a good Christmas? A best Santa brought you everything you wanted, not wanted. <laughs> um, so I hope the kids were all good, grandkids, older kids, and all that. So all I'm going to do is this has I don't know if you could see it some little details up here. So um, and then I mean it's just very small details but enough that if we paint it they might pop so we'll see what happens I'm gonna take this black and I'm just gonna go right along the edge you don't need the primer with this paint which makes it fantastic to work with I'll get my butt in there uh, excuse my hiney no prepping um, all I really, really did was take some crud cutter, wipe it down real quick, and that's it. So I'm just going to go along the edges here. I'm going to try not to get in your way too much. And just swipe some paint on there. Okay, so because that's let's see in my learning when you want to do distress style farmhouse or anything like that, you want it to look old and um, like it's been used. In fact, I'm not even going to do a real heavy coat because um, I'd like to have a little bit of that brown show through and. Um, so the black kind of like, you know, your edges get dirty in your corners. You know, that's where all the, all the crud hides, which is funny. Like, why would you want to hide like that? But, you know, that's what makes an antique after a while. Looks old and like it has a story to tell. It's, it's been through... You know, somebody's room. It's been through um, family members. You know, it's been tossed, you know, 
handed down through one person to another. It's been in thrift stores. It's, you know, um, heck, it might have even been in the garbage. This one I got, I bought, I paid $5, maybe, at a garage sale. And a couple years ago. And I didn't have a truck at the time, so the people even delivered it for me. How cool is that? Oh, excuse me. Um, how cool is that? So, I'm just going in here. And... And there we go. I'm not going to bore you with the whole long thing. Because, I mean, that's a sizable. And I, my camera angle ain't the best. As you can tell, you can see me more than this. <laughs> That's what happens when you work in small spaces, I guess. I'm working on it. Making the space so I can do this more, so. But, there we go. Can you see it? Alright, let me bring you forward a little bit. Oops. And, all I did... Was paint. Oh, there it is. Okay. Ta da! Forgive me, I am a horrible camera person, but I will be learning how to do this better in the near future. Practice makes perfect. Am I not correct? Okay. So, there we go. I remember the horrible days. Um, I'm going to take my mouse in the house gray. Mm -mm -mm. Now that I got all the edges done, and I'm going to take a clean brush and dip it in there. And I'm going to paint basically right, blend it into the black. I'm going to paint it in. I'll show you the top of this. And then I'm going to blend that black into the gray just a little bit. And then in the middle, it's going to be brighter on the edges. It's going to be darker because, you know, that's where you get all your crud and all that stuff all okay and down on the floor somewhat and this paint cleans up beautifully soap and water people you can't get any better than that soap and water clean it up a little bit of crud cleaner there and um, there you have it so Here we go. Now I want to go in here. Do, 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 do. Which you'll probably be able to see better. So I'm just doing the shelf. Okay. Um, I came across Sonya and her paint. Oh, I don't know. Earlier last year, maybe the year before. And she was doing videos. And she was talking about how she makes her own chalk paint. Honest to God. Just like, really? Really? So, let's see if we can get better right now. So, I started watching her. And this woman has taken and that's better. Um, her love for refurbishing things, and she has taught oh, how many people now um, how to paint furniture. 
and um, you know, and she likes far. She likes distressed. I like distressed. Or I think that's why it, it appealed to me. But um, also appealed for me is to me is that this woman <coughs> found treasures along the side of the road. You know, you see, you know, people will be cleaning out. Oh, heck. Now, you know, now is the time, a good time to look because um, after Christmas settles down and, um, you know, people got, who knows, new furniture. They might have got new beds. They got TV consoles. Um, you know, the kids got new beds, bedroom suits, you know, or whatever, and they decide to clean out, and, you know, now, you know, stuff is, they don't want to throw it out, but don't want to keep it either, so they put it out in the curb, and it's there for taking. You drive down the road, you know, and you see a little piece of furniture sitting there, or a big piece of furniture, and it's seen better days. And, uh, you know, pick it up. You got a truck or a car big enough to put the piece in, pick it up and, uh, stick it in there, take it home and, um, paint it. And, uh, there's lots of chalk paints or different paints. I mean, I'm using this one. I'm just partial this one. So, um. It's inexpensive and uh, brighten up your space. You know, this is this is kind of brown and dark, and my room here is as dark as it is. The lighting is not the best. Um, I need to get better lighting. So uh, if I can brighten up my furniture a little bit, that helps a whole lot. Um, so uh, getting in here, these little brushes. Um, why they're nice for distresses. They're little hairs here are very perfect. They're like choppy and that. So as you can see, you get kind of a the lines through there. So um that's kind of you know you want that for your distress. You don't want always want if you're doing distress, you don't want to smooth. Um, real smooth look. So, um, you want a little bit, you want to see a little bit possibly what's behind there. Um, you want the hand, it's a handmade look. Um, you know, like, it's been painted a few times. Um. You know, you, you want the brush lines in there. You want it to look um, like, you know, your grandmother painted it once, your cousin painted it once, you know, the neighbor, whoever, and um, on, on down the line. So, and just, it gives it nice uh, texture in that. So, and as this dries, it's kind of self-leveling, so... Um, it does dry really, really nice as well. And um, a lot of them lines you won't see. Um, we'll sand this down a little bit. Even it out a little more. So, there we go. Ta -da. Okay. And across the top here. And down the side. Okay. And down the side. Now. Need a little more black on that side. Alright. I'm going to come back. And basically. If you could see it. Let me move it. There you have. The basic 
start of this. Um, I'm going to let this dry and then glaze it, and I'll come back on and show you after I'm done. I can't show you the whole piece because I don't have enough room to go back yet, to go back far enough. But um, I just took some black and did along the edges here. And then um, some of that brown is still peeking through, and uh, which is good. You kind of got three layers. And then on the top and in, in the middle here, I did the same thing. Let's see. There we go. Ah, there. Can you see? Brown. And gray and lightly distressed so this is the beginnings um i'll come back later on today and show you what i've done and um when i finish up so thank you for tuning in if you did or if you catch up on it later give me um give me a hello and let me know you saw this all right bye